And now guys, let's get started here. I have here the 18 inches by uh, 12 inches uh, plain white canvas. These are the colors that I'm going to use this entire tutorial. This is the titanium white, the cadmium yellow, Rushina, the cadmium orange. This one is the uh, scarlet red, the hawker green, the uh, tallow blue, tallow blue, and uh, also this black color. So the first thing to do here, uh, we're going to create here the mountain wrens some trees then the first thing to do here we're going to paint here at the upper part of this canvas with a uh, white color one and a half flat brush so let's going to uh, we're going to paint here at the upper part with a white color just paint so that it will uh, make this upper part uh, wet just there white color like so there and there you go now it's wet because we paint the uh, white color here and our background is wet now we're going to divide this one into two tall blue here I'll pick the color tall blue I'll divide this one into two maybe this one here don't worry this line or uh, later we're going to make this uh, invisible or just uh, my line here is a little below to the center this is my uh, sky and this one is my land area the next thing to do here I'm going to paint with a tall blue tall blue at this part just paint directly the tall blue here as you see there you go as you see there, the uh, Talubli is very easy to uh, blend this to the background color because our background color here is wet, so that's it. That's very nice. Very, very nice blend of colors here. The tallow blue using this tallow blue. Just paint more the tallow blue going down. Just a little going down there like so there we go we have very clear day today so we're going to paint this here I'm using my one and a half flat brush you can buy this any hardware in your area I buy this very cheap very cheap uh, brush there you go just paint more the uh, tall blue just paint more here the tall blue there this is only the uh, first layer of my sky so later we're going to add some clouds that to that upper part or the uh, sky there just blend this tallow blue here for my first layer of my sky and there you go just add a little water and then this lower part here and there you are now it's very nice color of my upper part or the first layer of my sky it's a blue because we're going to create here the clear day very very clear day there you go and now guys the next thing to do here is I'm going to create here the clouds the basic very 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 basic clouds here so I'm going to grab this uh, fan brush I'm going to use the uh, titanium white here just maybe 
we're going to create here the clouds going up here just there don't worry the uh, the shape the form these clouds because there are lots lots of uh, type of the clouds so there you go and there you are that's our clouds the basic clouds there and maybe this one let's add more here and there you go that's a very very easy clouds and the very very basic clouds there maybe this one something like like so and there you go just make here a little bit bigger clouds there you go don't worry about the shape of these clouds the form because there are lots lots of types of the uh, clouds and there you go just like that just just like uh, playing you, know, you can uh, make your own clouds here you can make that because uh, there you go just like that and maybe the scattering clouds also here Let's add some scattering clouds there you go just like that and there you go add some scattering clouds just do like that just observe my brush strokes and there you are I'll make more of the clear clouds here more clouds more lighter clouds to this part and there you go and there you are that's nice I'm going to touch this uh, this kind of clouds with the dry brush using this number two uh, or two inches flat brush. This is also the ordinary brush. You can uh, buy this any hardware uh, near to this to your area. So we're going to touch this a little like that. Starts a little the dry brush. This is the dry brush. You can there you go. Just that's a little here. It's some um, dry brush. You can do this. It's very easy. You can touch the, the just use the tip of this brush. Just almost touch there. Just very very gent gently when you do this just there and there you go just that's a little by the tip of this brush you can do this there you go and there you are we're almost there to this technique very easy technique you can easily do this and there you are we have a very nice clouds to that part and also i'm going to add more uh, uh, more white clouds or more shape the clouds using this uh, number 10 flat brush i'm going to create here 
more shape of the clouds using this titanium white there you go I'm going to create here more shape of the clouds there you go just there you can create also yours I know you can do that because you're an artist you can create here anything you can make your your own uh, clouds or more there so we're going to add more clouds here more scattering clouds more shape the clouds here there you go I'm going to touch this one with a dry brush again. And there you go. As you see there, it's a very, very nice effect of the clouds. When you uh, draw to the uh, touch with a dry brush. There you go. Just touch with a dry brush. To make this cloud smooth, no hard edges, as you see there. Just touch this tip of this dry brush. And there you go, that's very nice clouds now. And there you are. It's time to add a mountain. I'm going to mix the color, this blue and red color. It should be more blue than the red. And then just add a little white there. The blue and the red color and just add a white color. The blue and the red just add also a very, very small amount of white. And we're going to paint here just paint directly here a little lower part to this blue just paint here and there you go this is also the uh, base color my subject to this part which is the mountain the blue and red or the scarlet red just add white and there you are get my palette I'm going to mix the color of the blue and the red again the blue and the red just mix these two color just add a very small amount of white I'm going to create here the mountain the base color of my mountain here There you go. I'm using my palette knife. Just mix these two color always. The blue and the red color. Just add a little white.
This is our base, base color. There you go. Just mix these two color and just paint here. And this one also here. We're going to add a little higher. There you are. And this one here. Like so. There you are. My mountain terrain here. Just there. Just continue adding this color. Highlight is coming this area the left side and the uh, dark portion is here this uh, right side there you go that's it there just a little pull down Using this brush, we're going to a little pull down here. Just leave this kind of uh, effects that's very nice to the to that mountain. Later, we're going to add detail with that. It's very nice effects there. And there you go. We're going to add the highlight color effects, so we're going to mix the color this white. Just add white to this to this color. We're going to add a titanium white to this color. The red and the blue, we're going to add a titanium white. This kind of color effects. There you go. We're going to add the highlight here. First, we're going to do this part here. There you go. We'll do more highlight color here. It's very easy to create the highlight or the effects like this when you use your palette knife. It's a very nice uh, tool to create this kind of effects. There you go. And there you are. Just add white to this blue and uh, the color that we mixed earlier, the blue and the red color. Just add white. There you are. That's very nice effects there. That one. A lot more white color.
There you go. That's very nice. white color there you go just a little pull down there that's very nice effects here There you go, that's good looking mountain now. Then the blue color and the white, the tile of blue and the white color, create the uh, sky blue color, maybe more blue. Move blue to the white to create a little dark sky blue. Just there. the blue and small white there you are and there you go that's very nice just add more blue color or some area that are not affected by the the highlight we're going to make this little uh, blue or uh, dark sky blue just touch with this uh, dry brush again at the lower part just a little touch with that dry brush And there you go, that's it. The next thing to do here, we're going to create here some trees. So what are we going to do is I'm going to mix the color of this hooker green and the this one, the rushina. The hooker green and the rushina color. Just there. Then we're going to create some trees to this part just do like here what I did here just observe my brush strokes just add more Rushina to this hooker green some hooker green here also I do it like that first going to a little up uh, portion just just a little blend I will blend this color these are the very very far trees at the uh, this lower part of this mountain 
some hooker green then we're going to add some darker little dark dark uh, you know the trees there at the bottom this this mountain let's add some hawker green these are the trees of this uh, lower part of this mountain or the forest there you go We're going to add some a little red color to make this a little dark. To create some dark portion of these trees or the forest. There you go. That's very nice. I'm going to add some dark color. Or add some blue color also. Just add a tile of blue here. To this color that I mixed earlier, the hawker green and drushina. Just observe my brass strokes. Just a little push with this brass. Just a little push there. Not too hard. Not too hard to uh, push this brass. To create this kind of uh, color or effects. And now it's time to add some some highlight trees there. Like this. Like so. Using this Rushina color, I'm going to use my fan brush. Rushina color. These are the trees to this part. Are the far, far trees or the forest there. We're going to make this a little highlight because this part is a little highlight there. White, I think we're going to add white color here. There you go. Just add yellow and Roshina. Just combine this three color yellow, the Roshina, and the white. Just a little here. Because we're going to, we're about to add this highlight at the, at the, the upper part because this area is affected by the lights coming from the sun. So we're going to add some highlight or highlight effect to the trees.
And there you go. That's nice part there. That's very nice. Then some a little here going down. Just a little highlight there for my trees to this lower part. Uh, you have lots of time for this. You can make this more nicer. This is only the guide for you guys. So you can make this more nicer. Add more white to the color that I mixed earlier. The yellow, the rushina. Let's add here more highlight. There you go. This one. This one also here. There you are. That one. Then next thing to do here, we're going to paint here the, uh, I'm going to mix the color, this Rushina and the orange color. I'm going to paint here for my ground. This part here, some Rushina also. Russian and the orange color, the cadmium orange. Just add black color also. This kind of color. This, this is my uh, slope here. There you go. That's the basic there. Or just add black color to this color that I mixed earlier. The hooker green and the Russina. Just add a black color, just, just black. I'm going to paint here the black color, or the dark color. The black color to the other color, which is the hooker green and the rushina color part. Hooker green and black. Just add rushina. And there you are. This is also the base color here. So it's time to add more detail here for this subject. Let's minimize more lighter color here. And there you are. That's nice. So the next thing to do here, we're going to add some trees, some trees to this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this color, the uh, orange, the orange and the rushina color, just mix these two color and just add yellow. We're going to create here the trees. There you go, that kind of trees there. Just add yellow. There you are. That's nice. Some here also. Just mix this orange to Rushina. 
to make this kind of trees there you go that's nice for the highlight just add yellow to this color that just add yellow to this color and yeah, good you can have this highlight easily there you are I'm using my one inch flat brush another ordinary brush just uh, find any near hardware to the to your area you can buy this brush there and there you go our highlight is coming from the sunlight is coming to this area the left side the invisible sun there you cannot see the sun because the hooker green the hooker green in the white color let's add some here for more trees to this part I'll just add the darker color not totally black but just a little dark there you go for some trees to this part here also and there you are so I'm going to pick my uh, one half flat brush next and we're going to add more trees to this part so I'm going to mix the color of this hooker green and the yellow color there you go Let's add yellow or cadmium yellow Let's paint here for some of my trees to this part just there just observe my brush strokes there you go these are the trees here that yellow this one also here and there you are that's nice some dark color hoku green or black color for the uh, the darker part of these trees or the shading the area that are not affected by the lights so we're going to darken this area there you go that's nice very nice trees there just add black to the hooker green to create this shading shading color or the dark color and there you go that's nice how about we're going to add more color the trees here I'm going to mix the color this orange and the yellow color the orange and the yellow color I'll mix these two color and add some color of trees here add more color of my trees there you go yellow and the orange color I'll add some more color the trees to this part that's the basic trees to this part to the part there just add more yellow to this color and white the yellow and the uh, hooker green I add white for more highlight just a little highlight there
There you go. Black color. And you also the pointed brush or the line brush. You can have here. There you go. We're going to add also the trunk. Some bronzes. There you go. Some bronze and the tweaks here. That's nice, very nice. That one. You can create here very easy. There you go. You can make this more nicer tree. You have lots of time for this. This is only the guide for you guys, so you can make this more, even more nicer than this. You can create that one. Uh, you can add more trees to this part. I know you can do that because you're an artist. Just, just make some uh, more subject or discover some subject to this part. You can add more. Or even animals here, you can add animals if you like. Just add more branches here, and also the uh, you know the trunks. You need to add more trunks here. There are lots of trees to this lower part of this slope or the mountain here. There you go. And maybe that one. How about we're going to add here the bigger tree or the near tree. I'm going to create here a near, very near tree. How about we're going to create here, maybe this one here. A very near tree here. Using this black color. I'm going to create here a bigger trunk to this part. This tree is very near, so we're going to make this a little. Going to make here a big tree. Because this part is a very near. Then we're going to create also here neighbor. A neighbor tree or a friend to this tree. We need to create also here using this black color. There you go. That's a big tree to that part. And then I'm going to add also the uh, the bronze. We need to create here the branches. I will do this like that, that the tree. Like that one. And this one. There you are. And this one also. Going down there. Maybe we're going to there. Just observe my brush strokes. I'll uh, create like this uh, branches, another type of trees. There you go. I'm going to create here more branches. So this this one is uh, just just follow what I did here. This is our uh, what did uh, what did I do to my uh, branches here? There you go. We're going to add some leaves. This is this one is the uh, 
base color of my trees here are the uh, I use the black color to create this kind of tree this one the orange color I'm going to use this orange color and the fan brush the fan brush I'm going to there the cadmium orange it's very very unique uh, cadmium orange There you go. Just do what I did here. Canyon orange. These are the leaves of this tree. There you go. And this one also here. That one. That's very nice. There you are. You can make this more nicer tree. I know you can do that. Or you can create another type of tree here. You can make that one. Another uh, kind of tree. Not this one. If you don't like this, you can create your own type of tree to this part. That's your own choice, and that's good also, so that you can. Uh, there you go. And that one. So this one we're going to make that a little dark color. Hooker green and a black color. There you go. I will make this a little dark, another color of this tree. Another color of the leaves of the tree, of this tree, there. That's nice. Hooker green and a black color. And there you go. And this lower part also, I'm going to add some dark color. The black and the hooker green. I will minim I'm going to minimize this this part, that one. I will mix the color of this orange and the white color. The orange and the white color. Just mix these two colors to create some highlight here. With some highlight to this part. There you go. That one. That's the highlight that. There you go. Just observe my brush strokes here. And there you are. How about we're going to add another tree to this part, this area here. So I'm going to mix the color of this 
look at green and the black color using this one and a half flower brush I'm going to create here another tree the black and the uh, hooker green this is the base color of my tree here black color hooker green and a black color I'm going to add some some trees to this part just there and there you are that one I will use this orange again just mix the orange and the red color to create another color here there you go just mix this orange and the red color and just paint here so are my trees here another color of my trees to this part this one the yellow and the hooker green just mix these two colors and just paint here for some color my trees here there you go we're almost done with this painting there you are and this lower part then some lighter rushina, just mix this white and rushina color. For some grasses here. And there you go, that's nice. Rushina and the white color. Just observe my brush strokes here. This is my grasses here. And some dark grasses. The Rushina. There you go. Some lighter color. Like the stones here. Just observe my brush strokes here. There you are. How about we're going to add some grasses there? this color some grasses here you can make this more nicer part here 
there's only the guide for you so you can make this more nicer we're almost there, we're almost down with this painting some lighter here some lighter grasses you can create also the or you can use also more thinner than the line brush for this so that you can make a more thinner line or more smaller line here Then some dark color, the blue, this kind of color. We're going to create here some shading part, some shading these stones, soil here. And there you are. Some highlight for the stones here. I'm going to create some stones. Look like the rocky mountain here. There are lots of rocks here. Or the stones. There you go. I think we're done with this painting. I hope you like this painting, guys. This is a very basic painting here. A very easy painting. You can do this easily.